Welcome, my friends. We're breaking out the Atlantis card back on this one, a deck that is celebrating everybody's current favorite fish boy, Atuma. He went from relatively homeless right around release to seemingly everywhere on a ladder overnight. The 410 stat line is premium, and this deck loves capitalizing on it. Of course, we do have the dramatic concession. If you have another card here at the end of your turn, destroy this, making Atuma very vulnerable to self-sacrifice. We actually had a deck that was trying to capitalize on that a little while ago, running Null and then intentionally killing the Atuma to be able to fuel that engine. But here we are taking a different track. This is not ongoing. That means Enchantress or the Sauron is not going to be able to help us out. But the Zero certainly can, as can the Armor and the Professor X, all cards that fit directly within the Shell of the Destroyer archetype that we just recently showcased, as well as being incredibly stat efficient. So here we have a mashup of the Zero to Hero and the Destroyer archetypes. They play very well together. Together, very premium stat lines but we've thrown in some other tricks up our sleeves as well we have the storm to be able to lock down a location early bringing in if we are able to seed the armor we have an incredibly high tempo turn four in the atuma able to jump in and then likely surmount whatever the opponent is able to put up on turn four to match our storm we have the claw to be able to help out as well and so this all fuels the synergy of location lockdown the professor x and storm able to fill similar roles just hitting the board at different timings and of course the professor x having the extra role of protecting everybody under his watch from a final turn destroyer zero is probably the most overworked card in the deck with desirable targets to be knocked out in the titania in the lizard in the atuma in the red skull and in a pinch the destroyer as well Though we have enough other mitigating factors for the Destroyer, you would likely want to place the Zero onto somebody else. But of course, depending on the game state, you do have the flexibility of just being able to Zero out Destroyer and then run him without any additional setup like the Armor or the Professor X or even the Cosmo. Our keys to success are really in the location lockdown and the Cosmo lending a little bit of control against the opponent, which then we're able to back up on other locations with our premium stat lines of the Atuma, the Red Skull, and the Destroyer, which we're hoping is just going to be too much for the opponent to surmount. Diving in here for our showcase, we've got the deck list up above. If you guys want to talk any card substitutions, deck optimizations, just leave me a comment down below. Read all of those. Love chatting everything. A snap with you guys down there. The deck was suggested by a viewer on our last stream. So plug for the stream. We stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, it's always a great time at deck building and hanging out with you guys. And we get some gems like this to be able to showcase. I actually like putting pressure on Hala here and then holding zero. Yes. Hang on. It's the next card you play. So we could play zero, get him copied if we wanted the... I don't know if we need the extra tempo. Anyway, we... Well, yeah, yeah. For the Professor X, we zero. And then we Atuma. And then we Prof X. And we see where the board stands. Maybe I actually... If I'm going to drop the Professor X, I should Lizard on Sinister London. Normally, I wouldn't put such a small card. Okay. Thanos has other plans dramatically different plans. Jodenheim? We'll have to completely adapt everything that I was just spitballing. <laughs> it is all immediately out the window. Just <laughs> immediate disregard. Ooh. Okay, I can armor. Here's the thing. Do we think that we actually etch them out with the Atuma as a surprise at Hala? We might. If I go zero here. They're putting some pressure. Okay, Soul Stone. Sure, sure. Time Stone. Space Stone. It's not a lot of points. Thanos ongoing. He probably doesn't mind too much if these stones go by the wayside. But maybe we'll be able to catch him off guard. Or maybe he'll have a high tempo play as well. And then we'll be left floundering. That is the joy of Snap. I think that we could still redeem it on a turn five Prof X and then a Claw though. And then hope that Jodenheim just stays ahead because he's, he's losing two every turn and I'm only losing one. So I'm getting farther and farther ahead. Yeah, I love this. Taking it to the Thanos. They're able to move the Ant-Man out of the way. But that fills it up. They leech me. They leech me. I don't have any good 
targets, normally I would be fine. That's one of the beauties of the deck is that it doesn't care if it gets leeched because of the Red Skull, the, the Lizard, the Atuma, the Destroyer, all the cards that were not in hand. Oh. It's terrible. So what do I want to do? Not sure. Nidabalier, I am down by 14, but 10 points are on the table. So really, they're not very far ahead of us. I think we need to play there, put some pressure on them. They do have the soul stone to make it a little bit farther and they're gonna have ways I'm sure to be able to provide mass buffs. Trading the goose here, Lockjaw plays fetch for a beast. <laughs> Oh, I love it when things come together like that. If I sunspot, I pick up plus five. Uh, that will not be enough. If I play you, I feel like I should just Cosmo to kind of lock up mid. Then I'm only up by four on left. That's crazy. That is not enough. I need to play Cosmo here. And then I need to... Play Storm for the points. Down mid. Yeah. Two points. Yeah, that's... Okay. I was not liking any of my final turn plays. But I think that we had it all solved out. Which is the Cosmo to Nid Avalir. If they were able to find their blue Marvel, we could have still been in trouble. But I think the reset on the lock jaw just tilted them out of the out of the game into our next one and here oh district x why of course it'll be district x we have a core set of cards with the cosmo atuma destroyer we're just gonna have to play very delicately around the atuma see what we can do there but our cosmo destroyer alone is an excellent position and then iron man you fit in my energy curve but otherwise it could be kind of hard to fit in dark tower now we're talking with the Iron Man. Okay. Domino. The, the plan takes shape. The Atoma puts pressure on a location solo. The Wakanda saves us. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. I will play... Osmo. Okay, so basically, Iron Man is going Stark Tower because you get the extra buffs. All the cards are bigger. They all get doubled. It's a great synergy. Ebony Maw, you're not getting played. I need to play Destroyer somewhere else. I'm going to set up the Cosmo here. Opponent's happy with things. I think I am happy with things as well. Honestly, drawing cards that are not too far out of the deck, the, the realm of what I would like to play so far... The Ebony Maw could be an excellent substitution for the Titania. I just like the extra flexibility of being able to drop the Titania towards the end if you're trying to combo like Claw and Titania together or Red Skull Titania if you haven't found your Destroyer. It usually works out quite well. The Hawk is a great call out. Mm, he's not going to be as large as um, the Atuma. The District X always will make Hawk a little bit bigger. But it gets better the farther, the later on it reveals. Because it always gives you the 10 random cards, not just replacing the cards in your deck. So we're going to go Atuma to the protected Wakanda position. And then we have uh, Iron Man down mid. Followed up by Destroyer. That is a bold play to a Jubilee. <laughs> a very bold play to Jubilee there. Maybe... Now with this positioning, we're just going to Iron Man the Atuma instead. It's going to be better than the Hawk. We'll take it. I'll just seed Stark Tower to your extra buffs. 20 up at Wakanda. And I still hold Destroyer. Do you have any interest in challenging District X? I was kind of hoping that you would. So that I could surmount. But they seem to be pretty focused. Damn. Then it's working out to their benefit. There's the JJ. Ah. That's great for us because if they follow up, they lose. They leave points on the table from the Jess Jones. They're 12 down. I wonder if they... 12 down is a lot. There's not very many cards that make it up. Even if they're comboing together. Three cards in deck. The Hawk is tiny. 
I think I need to destroy her. I think they would rather play to District X and try and pass me there than play into Wakanda, but we'll see. Okay, they do it. What do you have? What do you have? Oh. Hulk is big. He's not destroyer big. Warrior Falls. So on the one hand, I have big cards that should be able to take on all comers at Warrior Falls. I also have the location altering effects and the ability to um, switch it over or protect with the armor. Strange Academy. I feel like maybe I go for the, the storm down mid here. Scorpion. Scorpion really fell off. He had been so prevalent and then without any changes done to himself, disappeared. Who knows why? Storm shows up. Los Diablos could actually hit the storm here, or the flooding to be specific. That would be quite unfortunate. Cosmo, so you're just a Shuri deck? There goes flooding. Well, fine. We'll play our Atuma. I can set up the destroyer behind the Cosmo, or I could play him solo to Warrior Falls to be able to duke it out with whatever they play down there. So if it is Shuri, the destroyer is not going to be able to pass them. Polaris says, oh no. It's the vulnerability of the Atuma to be sure the uh, Magneto and the Polaris can really do a number on you. That hurts. And now they're gonna snap. I think we're just done here. Like that kind of swing is too much for us to be able to take. I really couldn't. I don't think we had a way to see it coming or play any differently. Our finish is Destroyer on Cosmo and it's like, is Red Skull big enough to be able to handle whatever else they have? Maybe he is. I'm down by two, I'm down by one, but this lane is vulnerable. Okay, against my better judgment, I accept the snap, and then Sarah reveals. All right, I'm up by 10. How long does that last? Who knows? Then... I mean, you can get cheeky with Sarah and play Cosmo to be able to block kind of their final turn burst. But with the Scorpion, are you Sarah threes? Are you going to be running Surfer? Or are you going to be looking to something else? Polaris, Cosmo, man, I don't know. 10 points feels like it's too easy for them to be able to pass. Yeah, I think that we have to bounce. 10 points. Sarah's got that. Four cards in hand. Sarah's got it. Escaped. We have just rolled over into April Fools. You know what Ben Brode says about a handful of rocks? We snap on those. I got a rock. Oh, rocket. I get it. I get it. It's the perfect matchup. <laughs> it's so dumb. Bar with no name. If I, I wait on zero here. Point, point. We both got rocks. I would like to storm late on Bar With No Name. Ant-Man, you could be Thanos ongoing. I know you and your tricks. I understand your kind. We'll armor up. Maybe Sunspot. To be able to scale. Holla. Zero Titania Sunspot. I mean, that feels very high tempo. You're going to play for it? Do you have armor as well? You might wish that you had armor after you see this flip. Nine points. Mr. Fantastic. Okay. Either he doesn't have a way to be able to affect Bar with No Name or he just doesn't want to give away that he uh, does. I could storm now and then follow up with the Red Skull. It is a very good follow-up. Here they go to Hala. Do you have a way to be able to pass me? I could have also full pass to be able to put more power on the sunspot. Hopefully I don't regret it. I am stone and then redstone. Soul stone. Just gonna say goodbye to all of this, including Mr. Fantastic? Ooh. The deck is very high tempo. 
That is certainly one of our strong suits. We'll go Red Skull here. And then Claw to lock it up. I mean, this feels incredible. It's our board. I am Iron Man. Iron Man. Oh. And then Reality Stone. And Iron Man is being fueled by the Red Skull. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's really good for them. I get Destroyer. I don't... I don't want Destroyer. I think Claw is better here. Affecting mid and right. They still have to play something here to be able to pass us, but it's a pretty small something. It would just be five point card. But we had the tempo all across the board and especially the rush. Zero Titania Sunspot to the win at Hala. That really swung things. But we have high tempo cards at every single price point. We can race for anything. So here is the deck in all of its up-tempo fishy glory. So much fun to be piloting this one with the Atuma at the heart, but high tempo plays at every single energy curve a mark. You can outrace your opponents. You can control them with the location and the lockdown to get you through the challenging matchups. And you have these huge finisher pieces that are able to just bring the games home. If you guys pick this one up, I hope it earns you many cubes on your climb up to infinite. Till next time, thank you guys for watching. Keep on snapping.